Pixel Mondo is a global company. We have offices in North America, Los Angeles, Montreal, Vancouver, Toronto. We also have two offices in Germany, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, and two offices in China, Beijing, and Shanghai. Midway has a historical drama. It's grounded in reality. This was not a project that had a tremendous amount of time, so we had to build a lot of things for reusability. We had massive ocean simulations to build, so we had to be able to reuse those. We had some massive explosions, carriers being destroyed, flak being thrown up in the air in, in the hundreds and thousands. We utilize flak in many different ways. Some of it we use Houdini engines so that uh, other non-Houdini artists could place flak in skies. Clouds, we had a couple different cloud systems, um, traditional VDB clouds, but also sprite-based clouds. And we had fuel leaking from planes, uh, oil leaks, we, we really covered every type of effect you could possibly cover in a film. We couldn't go and make bespoke simulations for everything. There simply wasn't time to do that. One of the really big explosions we did was uh, blowing up one of the Japanese aircraft carriers. The data set for that was quite substantial and it was actually slow motion as well. Um, I think that facility, some of their effects caches for the entire show, they hit like 150 terabytes. When you simulate something this big, you want to be able to reuse it. So this one explosion, we actually were able to take from that facility and pass it around to other facilities so that they could repurpose it uh, and save a lot of time. It was literally just an effects cache that we were able to place into other shots. So one of the things we worked on with clouds was we created a VDB data sets in Houdini. And then for my artists who don't know Houdini at all, they were able to use Houdini Engine inside of Maya to take these things created in Houdini and physically place them in their scene. Uh, and because we're using Arnold in this case, we're able to easily render between Houdini or Maya, pass things back and forth with no problems. So then we can have, you know, someone who doesn't know Houdini at all be able to place, you know, a flak effect. So there's another case where we use Houdini Engine for some things. They actually place flak in scenes, but, you know, they're just seeing, you know, placeholders for the flak. They don't deal with any of the simulation or anything, so they can quickly lay something out without any real effects experience. For all these challenging tasks, we developed custom FX tools in Houdini and shared them with all Pixelmondo facilities around the world to ensure a uniform look of the show. During Midway, our TDC managed to create a bunch of tools for our environment crew that created the entire island of Terroir without having even touched Houdini before. And if you look at the results, that's quite impressive. Our mantra throughout the show is simulate once and use multiple times. It's very difficult to share this size of a project across so many facilities. The ability to iterate procedurally and the ability to reuse assets was critical to getting the show done.